Soccer fever is running high in the Tulsa metro area, from World Cup fans out watching the game to the Youth Soccer President's Cup in our very own backyard. New on to 2 News reporter Sarah Goldenberg finds this soccer tournament scored some big goals for local business. Parents from across the country headed to Broken Arrow this weekend to watch their kids play in the soccer cup. We've been very impressed. Uh, we've had a wonderful staff of volunteers. We have a beautiful complex, and uh, they've been very helpful. Uh, they've made us feel very welcome, and they've provided us some, some uh, wonderful venues for competition. They packed hotels in Broken Arrow and Tulsa for the games. We had three teams, our sister property across the street. Um, the town place in Broken Arrow had two teams as well. Hotel managers say they were happy to accommodate them. Youth sports as a whole are, you know, the key you know, for the summer season for Tulsa. Um, the more these groups would come in, they spend money at hotels, they spend money at restaurants, we get the sales tax. I mean, it's a win-win for the metro of Tulsa. The Holiday Inn in Broken Arrow welcomed a team of champions back after Sunday's game. Some of these girls spent 22 hours on a bus from Miami to get here. This team brought a total of 50 people to town. Several of the parents were the rent, did some rental cars, and so we were the gophers for the team. So whenever we had emergencies, we needed to go out to Walmart or to go to any of the places that, you know, we, we were the ones to go. Soccer fans ate out and visited shops, bringing a boost to the local economy. Even the businesses would even, you know, talk to us and tell us that other teams were in. So I know that they were impacted with, with the abundance of teams throughout the city. This Miami soccer team is heading to Tennessee next for national championships, but they've left their mark here in the Tulsa area. How does it feel to be the champions today? Amazing! Awesome. Amazing. Awesome. Really good. Sarah Goldenberg, 2 News, works for you. Officials estimate the 120 soccer teams bring anywhere from 2 to $3 million to the metro area.